about the weather. WMTV's Tabitha Bland went to the Salvation Army and Tabitha, they're usually pretty busy after the first snowfall. Yeah, that's right, Cameron. And this year they actually hit record numbers at their shelters during the summer. So the spaces are already close to capacity and the Salvation Army employees say that the winter rush is still coming. Nice warm meal and a chilly night. Inside the Salvation Army, Chris Casey works to serve people a hot meal. They come in and at least for this two hour period, they can have a hot meal and they can enjoy conversation with other people. But outside, the season's first flurries illuminate the holidays <laughs> and the housing crisis. Typically, we would use um, this area for overflow. Melissa Sorensen says she's worried about the winter. Yeah, as we approach the winter and the weather is going to start to turn, it is a concern because we uh, have served more women in our women's shelter than we ever have in the entirety of the Salvation Army being in Dane County, which is over 130 years. Rooms are full, beds are taken, and the overflow space is filled. Just four years ago, we were serving 45, and I think we reached our high of 125 this year. All before the first snow of the season. And if we are seeing record high numbers this summer, we're, we're a little anxious as to what it's going to look like this winter and, and are we going to have enough space and enough resources to serve everybody that needs to come inside. Sorensen says they're nearing capacity before the typical busy season has even started. At the end of the day, most businesses and, and shops shut the door, you know, and can walk and leave for the day. But when there's a family sitting outside in the middle of a snowstorm, like that, that's not just something we can say, oh, sorry, we're full, figure it out, you know. We're trying to just stockpile resources and we're trying to reach out to other community partners just to say, hey, look, you know, brace yourself when <laughs> we might get a new wave of people in that need help. Sorensen says for now they're hoping to buy more beds, but ultimately the space that they have is not big enough to accommodate the needs in Dane County. In the studio, Tabitha Bland, WMTV 15 News.